Hi everyone, my name is Anika and welcome to the Home Automation X channel. I'm going to be releasing a new video every day on the Amazon Echo so you can learn everything. Before I get into this video, it is brought to you by Home Automation X, providing you smart home tech videos in a fun and cheerful way. Subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of all of our videos, which will also notify you when we go live during our live streams. If you go to amazon.com slash shop slash X, you can see products we do reviews on with the pricing all on one convenient page. Using this link also helps us out so we can purchase new products. Also, visit us on Patreon to see our videos weeks in advance before they go on YouTube, including all of our bloopers, and as a bonus, you will be automatically entered to win everything in our massive unboxing giveaways. So today's video is all about the Amazon Echo and settings in the Alexa app that you would need to know. So I will show you all the key settings in the app starting from the home screen. You can see it gives your location along with the current weather and if I scroll down some of my recent activities, I'll move over to communicate and I can use my phone or tablet to call other Echo devices or people on my contacts. I can even leave messages on my friend's Echoes, drop in if they have given me permission, and also make an announcement to all my Echoes, which is great if I'll be late for home. Moving over to the middle tab, you have the Alexa Assistant, which you could talk to as if though you had an Echo right in front of you. So you could ask questions like you were talking to your Amazon Echo. I'll go to the Play tab, and you can see you recently played songs. Or you can browse music. I have Amazon Music, so I, I click on that, and I go into Amazon Music. Here, you can search songs, um, and you can also play them from your playlist, and you can also create a new playlist as well. So the Devices tab here on the right has a lot of information, and we touched on this earlier in the week in our Echo series, but I'll go over them and their settings. Along the top, you can see our devices are broken down into categories. You can see what's in them when I click on each one. Below that we have any group which we have created. The kitchen group, for example, has two echoes and these lights. When I talk to either of these speakers, the echo will know I'm referring to these lights and switches so I don't have to address them by name. You can see our video on creating groups in our playlist. We also have our speaker groups where we can have the same echo in the different groups now. So I'll click on the Echo devices along the top and I'll choose one of them to go through the settings. We can pair the device to a Bluetooth speaker if we wish. In the past, I've paired the Echo Dot to speakers to get a better sound. I can change Wi-Fi settings if I need to here. If you have the Echo subwoofer, you can pair it to another speaker here. Or you can create a stereo pair with two identical speakers. We have done this with two with our two Echo Generation speakers, and if you have an Echo Remote or Alexa gadget, you can pair them here too. Under Sounds, you can make your alarm volume gradually increase and even change the sounds to one of these celeb celebrity voices to wake you up, or one of the default ones. You can have the default notification sound, or you can have no sound. You can turn on your incoming call ringer, or if someone was calling your Echo, you will hear it. You can also request sounds at the start and end of a request. This is a good way if you want to verify that your Echo is listening to you. Under Sounds is Audio Controls. This is where you can adjust your bass, mid frequencies, and your treble. A great option if you want more bass. So if you have a Do Not Disturb on, you can turn this on and nobody will disturb you except for the alarms and the timers. So under Communications, if it is en enabled, you can turn on Announcements. This will allow the broadcast feature to your Echo. You can also turn on drop in and set who can drop into your Echo or to be safe turned off. You can get uh, your location, your time zone. Um, below that also you can set your wake word. You can also make it Amazon, Echo or computer. It would be nice to create your own. With follow-up mode, you can also follow up questions without repeating the wake word. So this is good if you're asking a lot of questions and finally you can change your units from Fahrenheit to miles. If you click on the menu at the top, you can see a bunch of more features. I did videos on all of these this week, so I won't go into too much detail, but basically you can create shopping and to-do lists 
see your reminders, your alarms, view your contacts, create routines, which we did get into on a great video. Things to try is a good place to see what the Echo can do. We also did a complete video this week on skills and games, which you can see in our playlist as well. So I want to know what you guys think of the settings in this app. This app is always updating, so your Echo is always pretty much um, getting with the program. It's always up to date. Um, I want to know what you guys like about this app. Leave a comment down below and maybe I can look into making a video on that. Um, but for now, I want to tell you guys that I'm really enjoying this seven day Amazon Echo marathon that we're going on, I guess. <laughs> and I will be seeing you guys tomorrow. But before I do, make sure if you guys have not yet subscribed, you guys subscribe to our channel, click that bell icon to stay notified. And also check out the rest of our videos here on the right. I will be putting a playlist of all these seven day videos together at the end of each video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.